So did you have something that you wanted to say, Danielle? Yeah, so I'll move the Department of Public Works in the amount of uh, $5,465,813. All right, do we have a second for that? Sure. Okay, so Tim seconded. Danielle moved it. And at this point, um, I would like the uh, Department, uh, Chris, to pre please present his budget to us. And the way we did this, Chris, with the fire and uh, police, it worked out very well. You present the entire budget. And then, when we, you're finished, then um, you can answer questions. For okay. People. Okay. All right. um, so we're all on the same basis. Uh, we have discovered a mathematical error in the the first item I'd like to bring up, and it's actually a solid waste on page 51. People want to, and the reason why I bring it up is not to change the tempo, but uh, it, it does adjust the, the bottom line okay. very significantly. Uh, 51 was on my detail sheets. It is line uh, 0264342. 5320, it's in the area of waste hauling. Okay. We had in um, in the calculation uh, for 386 loads uh, from July to December, and you can see that's quite a jump from 140 the previous six months. Um, jumped right out at us that that's uh, an error. <laughs> so it's actually, we should be planning for 153 loads. Um, the total when you looked over at, let's see which line I need to adjust. So, um, the line that reads 130, 138,830. Yes. Should actually be 87,166. Say that again, please. 87,166 dollars. Thank you. Now, do you have a delta on that, Kristen? A, ch uh, a change? The change is 51,664 lower. No. We'll take that as an amendment afterward, I think. Okay. okay. Um, and, Chris, when you change that, because the board of the, you had asked for, requested 138,830, and then the board of uh, selectmen made that number 136,200. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So, but by changing that, it decreases it to quite an amount. Um, yeah. And, yeah. I okay. In my calculation of uh, Mr. Jones, the 51664 is different from the, sorry, the 136260 number that was the, I was kind of given it was the default one. In other words, the adjusted line. And what was the final number again? It would be 87. No, 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 no. Okay. For the entire, the grand total, that oh, changes that. I didn't even go. Oh, you haven't done that yet. Okay. So well, did you give me the delta? Is that the aggregate number for delta? <coughs> the delta was just for that line or that. It wasn't for the whole delta. It wasn't for the whole budget. It was just for. Right, right. Cause, so we can we can take your DBW budget after we approve it yeah. and then amend it to be a reduction of that amount. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That All right. So okay. having said that and establish that. You want to start at uh, no, I'll go back to the beginning. 43? Okay, thank you. I didn't mean to. It's no, no. It was such a big discrepancy that um, yeah. we oh, thought yeah. that it was uh, important to bring it up first rather thank than you. last. Thank you. As we get going through that, um, some of these minor ones, you realize just how minor they are. I'm all set. Um, just a comment on the, okay, Highways and Streets Administration. That's where everybody's at. Um, you'll notice it's 1.84%. Uh, we didn't lay anybody off. We didn't uh, reduce our staff. It's just that we do have and one, two, three. We'll have four retirements this year. So operating-wise, um, uh, junior people are moving up, filling those voids, and their pay rates are less. Um, under career incentives, uh, the 100% loss is we had one employee that uh, was uh, uh, eligible for that particular career incentive, that employee has retired, so that in truth and spending or truth and budgeting, we bring that line to zero. Um, I'm going at 
the next one is electric at 8.64%. Um, literally, that's just more in keeping with how our bills have been over the last couple of years. You'll notice in 16, that was 12,203. Um, so we've adjusted that up, trying to keep more with the average. Um, it isn't that we have more lights or anything like that. We are in the process of uh, replacing lights and putting in LEDs, but that's being done on a almost a light by light fixture basis that we don't. Uh, How long will that generally? Oh, well. So it just doesn't plan. bust the budget. It's a multi-year program. It, I don't have a deadline or anything like that. Make a note, um, and make water, a note, Dave, and then we'll get to it. We'll do. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Water went up 55%. Um, we're not using more. It's just that uh, Aquarian's now in a monthly billing process. And with the number of pump stations we have and locations, um, we pay about 2500 more per year in uh, just literally in billing fees. So it isn't really due to water. Uh, gasoline uh, is a 37% jump. Um, to be honest with you, that's a number I, we get from the finance office, so I can plead somewhat ignorance on that. And the same thing with respect to the diesel fuel. Uh, we've agreed to, to live with their, the numbers that they present. Um, the next biggest increase is uh, engineering services. We had some of that. Did you want to speak to that? Because you had the. Yeah, where did you go? Yeah, I, I, I just right. skip over this. All right, so. Yeah, the engineering services have everything to do with the capital improvement plan, looking at the projects that we're looking to move forward from 2018 to 2022, looking at how we weren't uh, appropriating enough money in the designing phase. Um, it was just a construction dollar, so a proportion of each of those projects going into the engineering budget when we need to hire outside consultants. Okay, uh, moving on. If, yes. Otherwise, um, I'm at uh, underpaving and reconstruction, the repairs and maintenance line is up a little 2.62%. Uh, uh, a lot of that is tied to the cost we have contracts for line painting crosswalk crosswalk traffic markings and also weed control it seems that all three of those are creeping up slightly but those are contracted services um, the other thing that we're trying to address uh, in the next jump is at 12 and a half percent of street signs we're trying to go from eight to nine thousand we're finding that we're falling behind um, coming up this year, we're actually instituting that asset management software system that we uh, have discussed and mentioned with you in the past. We've purchased the software. It's been installed. Uh, I shouldn't say installed because it's not up and running. We've married all of our paper data with the lot parcels. And here in December and in January, we're actually going to be trained on that software. So in going through the process of giving that data to them, we recognize that we are literally falling behind. I have signs that even last week someone sent me an email, can't even read the sign. It has zero reflectivity. Um, so there, there's a number of things that we need to do with that money. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Repair Under storm drainage, repairs, and maintenance, um, again, that's... This is directly related to the CIP. Uh, it's an increase 30% uh, again 2018 to 2022 uh, with planned pipe projects. And, it, and you'll see that next year and the year after that. I mean, if, if we stay true to the CIP is that um, we literally identified these projects street by street and where we need to go with that. And there again, it's not so as not to have a steep rise in it, but a methodical approach to the to the maintenance plan. That's where why you see that as a... 30% increase. Um, I'm going to jump all the way down to snow and ice removal. Uh, overtime wages in the winter, um, they are up slightly at 3.5%. I'm trying to remember. We discussed that earlier. Averages and the fact that we know with the retirement coming that there's going to be extra uh, work out there and um, direction uh, through our sub-consultant. Yeah. 
Um, two, three, yeah, three, three of the four retirees actually plowed snow. So uh, after December 19th, we're going to have a huge vacuum in uh, a couple of those routes. Uh, I have one um, long-term plow driver dealing with a medical issue. I uh, will not allow him to plow uh, this year um, as he undergoes treatment. Uh, so there's a fourth one, and that's one of the key routes over towards Ancient Highway. Um, so yes, in anticipation of that, that's why that number is going up. And hired equipment winter uh, up. 83%. We did use more uh, labor last year. And I want to give you the five year average. Yeah, hired equipment winner. We were, uh, we were requesting 45. The three year average is 134. That is somewhat falsely high due to the 320 we spent in the winter of 14, 15. But each year we're, we're finding that we're, because of the turnover in staff, trying to train new staff. Um, you know, the fact we only get one bidder, uh, our snow contracting services are going up. Uh, let's see. Next, jumping down to um, municipal sanitation. Uh, regular waste um, you're seeing a wastewater treatment plant and that was Maria I've down noted that that's you and do you want to speak to that or you want me to speak to it for you she's got that good looking okay I didn't know you were gonna have me ops, speak on it, ops coordinator position has been paid out of wastewater treatment portions of it right out of wastewater treatment plant um, Marie is the new ops quarter. She does not earn what the previous ops quarter uh, earned pursuant to the uh, Teamster contract. Uh, so that results in a 1.35% decrease there on that line. Um, the you? administrative assistant was paid out of that account. Also. Yeah, so okay. he's taking the spot that I that's, was in. That's true, too. You're right. We, starting the 27th, we actually have Marie's replacement. Uh, somebody internal to town government uh, starting uh, in her position and that also is a change in, or a decrease in the salary lines. As you can see, when we go through this process, um, and you might have caught it in front of the Board of Selectmen, a, a real sharp pencil is used. In other words, if uh, between uh, Christy, myself, um, Marie, and Jennifer, if we note that things are, you know, markedly coming down, we just don't, you know, don't leave them there. We, we are using a sharp pencil to bring you forth um, a realistic, as accurate as possible budget when, on certain lines when possible. Uh, that's probably a bad lead up to uh, jumping over to wastewater treatment plant. And um, we are there. The part time wages at 20, up 27%. Uh, why? And let me see if I, what I had written down. It's the competitive rates trying to get someone who's qualified to be at the wastewater treatment plant. Um, again, we've calculated the standard rate we pay, which is $14 an hour, which is our lowest starting salary rate in the SEA agreement, times 40 hours times 13 weeks. So that's literally how we came to that math. It's, there's no uh, greater logic than that. I can tell you, though, it has been hard to find someone for all 13 weeks. Um, the person that we normally hired the last two seasons uh, cannot return with us this year due to other commitments. Um, so it's going to be hard to find somebody on this, this seasonal basis uh, to work in the, the wastewater treatment plant. Um, career incentives, again, are at, are at zero. Uh, we're right at a thousand. That's uh, Mike Carl's the only one that uh, qualifies for that particular career incentive. Engineering has gone up 380 percent. That is a direct. You know, it was budgeted as 10. We were requesting 48 thousand straight across the board. That is totally due in part to the facilities study that was recently completed. Um, if for instance, well, I'll give you for instance, if the 
we're asking for a Warren article money, and, and I know that's not really on the table for discussion tonight, but we do need this engineering money to actually start, jumpstart some of these projects. Also, what we're finding is um, we're already using a portion of the money. One, to address the, we have the AOC, Administrative Order Consent, that still hasn't been uh, laid down or laid flat. Uh, we're still in the process of negotiating with the state. And uh, to give you, for instance, of where this engineering money be used, last week one of the raw pumps, the uh, bearings are going. You can, sounds like it needs a new transmission. Um, first, first or second call was to find out what it's going to cost to repair it. But then secondly was to talk with Wright Pierce and our engineering firm to find out what had been planned as far as the facility study going forward for that particular pump or style of pumps, and they're still reviewing that. Um, that costs money for me to have them review it to make sure that we get a compatible or compatible uh, pieces of equipment put in compliant with what the, the uh, facilities plan laid out. So that's really the um, thrust or the market increase behind that uh, budget line. I'll next jump down to uh, heating fuel. Um, we've typically used 24-6, at least that's what the actual was. Um, I don't know when the budget was prepared, it was at 40. I was going back through this budget before uh, my first presentation to the Board of Selectmen. I'm the one that cut 10,000 out of it to bring it back to a more realistic number overall. I mean, we're going to use what we're going to use in heat, but at the same time, I've asked the staff to be very um, diligent about monitoring the heat usage or the thermostat. Sludge tipping fees, 7.99, uh, minus 8 percent increase. Why? We're just generating more sludge. We have more waste coming to the plant. We're, uh, the sludge volume is a direct correlation to the total number of gallons of waste that we process. Uh, we have been, this year, we're up about, I would say, at least 10 percent in actual uh, sludge volume and fees. If I can look sideways, 258 uh, is what the 2017 budget is. We've already spent uh, 163. Um, that number pretty much will uh, be used up by the end of the year um, because what that number doesn't reflect is uh, we've cleaned out, had to, we do an annual cleaning of the sludge disposal area. There's a lot of grit in there. That all comes into the, or comes out of this tipping fee. But um, they've gone up slightly on their rate but not as much as we are disposing of a lot more um, sludge. Um, grease, I noticed right below it is still the same at 3,600, but I can tell you that's a pending problem too. Um, we right now have a three foot thick floating morass of grease in the Church Street pump station due to grease disposal in the beach area. Um, we just spent um, $7,000 hauling about two-thirds of it out, and we still have more to go. Um, we can't use our own equipment. Um, the tank's too deep. So that also will come, you know, comes out of things like uh, it's not coming out of grease disposal. It's going to come out of sludge one way or the other. It's, it's there, and we have to deal with it. Uh, supplies and maintenance is up uh, another 9%. Um, part of that is, uh, again, dealing with the AOC. Um, we are seem to be, I know we are, we're not seem to be. We're buying more lab supplies. They're expensive. Uh, we're being asked to do more and more uh, five-day uh, BOD testing uh, to make sure that we, we are staying within our um, our operating permit, and um, this is somewhat in a direct relationship to what we went through with the, the sewer force mains under the marsh. It's a direct fallout of that. Um, we're being mandated to do that. 
not only through the state, but uh, basically to give them some assurance that uh, the force mains are not an issue or are a stable issue at this point and that we can operate within our permit. I'm going to jump down to solid waste collection. That's where we actually um, pick up the trash. Um, wait, wait, Chris, I don't mean to interrupt. No, no, did you, you jumped over new equipment under. Uh, I did, okay. That's 100%. Use the glasses that I brought. <laughs> but if I do, I can't see you, folks. <laughs> the, one that the composite samplers. Okay. Yeah, sorry, that, you're right, it's going to go from 10 to 20, or we're requesting it to go from 10 to 20. Correct. We, um, as part of that operational issues that we face at the plant, we have what's known as composite samplers. Um, we have one, two, three major lines coming into the, to the plant. We, we get different types of flow from the different lines, because one of them comes from the beach, one of them comes from Tide Mill Road, i.e. the uh, Park Ave neighborhood. And the other one is the, what we call the Northeast Interceptor, which uh, behind Peniman Lane, that area, uh, parallel to High Street. Um, we have composite samples, i.e. they literally grab a small amount of uh, sample of what the waste is, uh, the, and we test those. And the need for the increase in the composite samplers is because the waste is starting to vary so differently it really affects the amount of aeration we use, chemicals. We're trying to figure out how to predict, how to adjust the cake mix, if you will, as this effluent is coming into the plant. So that's why they're, uh, it's been, partly that was suggested out of the facilities plan and partly it's, uh, we identified it even before then just to make our job, our work at the plant, I won't say easier, but at least be able to, to react to it and adjust to it. Sorry for skipping that. Um, Solid waste collection, regular wages, uh, there has been some turnover in that section. Again, um, wage adjust is, adjustments are down, um, but in the case of doing that, yes, the part-time wages are going to be up. Again, it's to hire qualified people to predominantly work uh, solid waste collection for those, uh, not only the holidays, but the 13 weeks during the summer. Um, but the, you can see that was offset by a negative 31% increase in, in uh, overtime wages. So um, all in all, just a, a yeah. more of a balancing act. But Wayne? I do have a comment here next to um, Vehicle maintenance, it's a zero line. You see uh, where we had originally requested 49.6, but you may notice that we paid or spent 83.179 earlier in the year, in last year. That's to repair and um, keep on the road the three sidearm compactors, collection trucks that we have, and the two rear packer trucks where we tip carts into the back end of the trucks. Um, did you, were you able to pull that other information? I was, but it's mostly in my head. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, I had the uh, vehicle foreman do a summary of the trash and recycling vehicles and the dollars that we have spent repairing them. And in the last quarter alone, the last three months, we have spent almost $30,000 uh, repairing vehicles 90, 91, 92, and 93. And that just goes to show and why uh, perhaps this line item that's being kept flat uh, may be low when you look at what we spent in 2016, what the actual will be in 2017. And I think I've said it before, probably here and at Board of Selectmen, uh, they're not going to get better. Matter of fact, a vehicle we've already spent 30000 on uh, is sidelined and it's in for another $13,000 repair uh, that hasn't yet hit this, uh, these data sheets. These dates, yeah. Right. Um, these are the latest and greatest uh, numbers. Um, so that particular number is very artificially low. Um, again, I'll skinny and skimp and, and do I would like it to be higher. Uh, 
entertain a suggestion if somebody thinks you can make it higher. But at the same time, um, when I'm faced with these challenges, it's just a matter of just getting it done. Um, I'm hoping that next year won't be as bad, but I don't think uh, I have no indication that it won't be. I'm just, I'm just deluding myself. Uh, make it make it more critical is with the, all the number of Warren articles that uh, have been presented and the huge size of some of those numbers. Uh, I believe the Board of Selectmen has voted not to uh, bring forward or uh, further continue with a vehicle replacement line. And one of the Packard trucks was in that particular vehicle maintenance line. Uh, I understand totally there has to be some give and take, and that's one of the lines that's been chosen. So the point is that I have to live with maintaining that vehicle or these vehicles, um, and um, but that that particular line, while it reads zero, is low. Um, moving on, landfill operations. Wait, um, wait. What about ahead. replacement Sorry. equipment? Did I <laughs> three more, three lines down, or two lines? This is the sixty thousand. <laughs> yeah. I think we were asking originally okay. uh, for request for this year's budget and that through uh, discussions at the meeting it has come out. So that's why it's saying oh. zero change, oh, oh, oh. right? Am I reading that correctly? Replacement equipment, mm -hmm. not applicable, no change because the default budget is zero. Well, it says purchase a new compact for $60,000 on page 50. My discussions with the manager is uh, to get that done now rather than waiting. Good. And that would take it out of Okay, good. This year's appropriate. Right, so it would be a zero Perfect. on. Perfect. It's still in here. It's not in the, uh, okay, so thank you. Thank you. So, in that case, it doesn't belong in here. Correct. Yes, it'll have to come out of the, the bottom line yeah. when we. Yes. Right, we have to make another adjustment on this. Yes, okay. okay. That'll have to be another another uh, motion. But it didn't have a But But the. Uh, yeah, it has to be correct. In, in the moat, the, the, the bottom, the bottom the, line, the, the needs line to also that I have this year's money. They they hope hope to, yeah. forward they have we'll, we'll speak to that after yep. this motion. Right. We'll make the appropriate adjustments. Okay. All right. Or what we see is appropriate anyway. Right. Yep. Okay. Thank you. So landfill operations, uh, Chris. Gold. Groundwater monitoring. Um, you're going to see it makes a huge jump at um, um, 550 percent. The previous line also. The monitoring and inspection, and it comes up uh, higher at 28.5. Uh, uh, we're getting hammered on um, the cost of lab work to actually get the samples from the landfill uh, tested. Something that has occurred since we initially put together this budget is uh, the whole discussion of PFOAs around the Coakley landfill. As a result of that, the state has ordered increased testing of all landfills. Uh, with respect to PFOAs, um, I think we have five monitoring wells. They have a high and a low, so there's a total of 10. It's almost $300 a piece for the, so it, that's the major jump in the, in the, in the analysis, um, is that we are, before the state even mandated us, the Board of Selectmen uh, basically directed me to go ahead and do that. Because we, they, we wanted to be proactive rather than reactive, but since then the state has basically mandated it under a landfill closure license. Um, waste, moving on to waste transportation and the waste tipping fees. Um, the 3.01% is really just. Uh, we're not generating much more than 10 or 20 tons, more than we did last year. Uh, so that's not really the cause of the 3% increase. The cause is really contractual. Uh, every year our contract with waste management does have a uh, consumer price index uh, fact factored into it. Um, it's hovered somewhere between 2 and 3%. Um, but overall, if you look at the several tons more that we are throwing away and the the CIP, no, CPI, Consumer Price Index. Too many acronyms, huh? Um, that's the re re reason for the 3% increase. And the next line, as I already addressed, is not a 69% increase. That's a, That was bogus. 
moving on to transfer station, uh, the wages are going down 1.2% uh, essentially Mark Richardson is retiring. Uh, people are being promoted up into the, uh, other positions, um, but their wage rates are, are lower. Uh, but on top of that, we are, again, um, due to the extreme turnover that we're experiencing, uh, over time, our part-time wages are up. Uh, it was difficult this year to get somebody that actually one knew that what they were doing, and secondly, um, that's where really where it relates to is um, that uh, we've got a big decrease in the staff development at negative twenty eight percent. It's because the state's basically gone to every other year of. Right, Go so ahead. we don't owe anything in 2018. Our renewals for the right. solid operator's license aren't due in 2018. But if you flash forward and your crystal ball, I'll be asking you for a 28% increase in that line next year because they will be in, in you know, it's like $50 a person. But So, again, it's, uh, it, it is what it is. It's the sharp pencil. Um, that... Well, I'll go all the way down to uh, sewer line maintenance, and I think you want to address that as Right. Sewer uh, line CIP. maintenance is also part of the CIP, looking at what sewer lines need to be replaced, including Elaine Street, uh, which is what we're targeting with the budget funds for next year. And then also looking at, I call it the trans marsh, but it's basically uh, the sewer run that runs underneath the marsh behind the uh, west side of Ashworth Ave over to the Church Street pump station, making sure that those pipes and structures are lined uh, to get rid of that uh, infiltration, which adds to the wastewater treatment plant. That's all clay sewer pipe. Yeah. Okay. That's all the, that I have for you. Well, you have, let's see, sewer treatment. Oh, is there one sorry. more? Oh, one more page, yeah. yeah. We'll one more. The Exeter yeah. Sewer Agreement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yes. Um, right. Now the sewer, Exeter sewer agreement went from essentially um, the seven thousand, or really we, last year's bill was sixty three sixty five. The new bill is twenty three six forty seven. They voted in a bond increase or a bond of uh, I believe forty one or forty two million to replace their wastewater treatment plant. And because we do send uh, effluent in that direction from the Horner Lane, Donna Lane neighborhood, um, that's our proportional share. And then you have one more line, <coughs> um, wastewater treatment plant maintenance, $70,000, up from, up from sixty. Yeah, I mean, it's all the uh, 675 pieces of equipment we have that the facility study has not only identified need removing our own uh, daily wear and tears. These are the VFDs, the variable frequency drives. Uh, we've had two or three of those go. These are the smaller pumps, not necessarily the big intake pumps. This is just keeping up with hoses, um, bisulfite pipes, you name it. We repair it. Okay. Thank you very much. 